Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video ever. Very nerve-wracking. I mean, I didn't really know what to do, how to really do it because it's my first one. So welcome. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Shay. For those of you who do know me, I made this YouTube channel because of you guys. So I really guys hope that you guys all like it. Um, it's gonna be my first makeup tutorial ever on this look. And I just really hope that everyone is staying safe out there with everything that's going on right now. I know it's very scary. So I'm actually kind of glad that I'm doing this because aside from school, this is something that's kind of keeping me busy as well. So just stay positive, have faith, and I really hope that you guys all enjoy this video that you guys are about to watch. So yeah. Okay, so first and foremost, the first thing I do before any time I do my makeup, I always do my eyebrows first. So I have no makeup on whatsoever. So what I do for my eyebrows, I take this 24-hour brow setter by Benefit Cosmetics. And there's a long side and a short side. I'm gonna take the short side and all I'm gonna be doing is brushing my brows up. As you can see, they're already kind of shaping themselves and they already make my eyebrows look thicker. So you can see this one's already brushed up. Okay, so now that I have it all brushed up, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color taupe, and I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. I don't like to have a heavy hand when doing this just because I like to keep my eyebrows like at a nice shade where it almost like matches my hair color. I don't like to do it very dark because my hair color is light. So as you can just see, I'm just slightly filling in the gaps. So you can see it's just slightly filled in. So now that they're all filled in, I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX HD concealer and I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows. The way I conceal my eyebrows, I just follow the line that I made. I followed the line that I made with the pencil. So like the way you draw your line is pretty much the way you want your brows to be shaped. Or you can just even reshape them with the concealer, which is kind of cool. Because if you don't like the way you drew them, you can just kind of go over it. And so once I have it um, lined up under my brow, I'm going to take my Morphe brush and I'm just going to pat it down and make sure I have it all nice and blended. And then I'm going to do the same as well with the top. And this is one of the most questions I get is with the fade and the medial portion of your eyebrow. Literally you can just draw a line wherever where you choose an eye draw line just to make sure that it's literally nice and straight. Other people will just blend it with their foundation. But I like to draw a line. And all you do now is just blend everything in to get rid of those harsh lines that you made. And that's pretty much it. So you can just see how much the difference a concealer makes. So once my eyebrows are all done, the next thing I do is go into my eyeshadow. I do not put my foundation on because I've tried that before. Where I've tried foundation before my eye makeup and it kind of spills and I don't I don't like that. I see people doing that, but I don't I don't prefer it for myself. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take my California Love Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and do like this natural ombre kind of look. So I'm gonna take the color Mission. It's this little smoky brown on the bottom. I'm gonna apply it to the corner of my eye. And I'm using, I'm actually using an e.l.f. brush. It's fluffy. I showed a brush, you can see how easily it just applies. Okay, so now that I applied it to both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and take the color Gnarly, which is like this really pretty nude, and I'm gonna apply it to the front. Or I guess you say like the medial portion of my eye to start blending. And sometimes if you feel like you've taken away too much of the, the base, you can actually go back and just apply more of it once you're done. So now that it's applied, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take just a white color from this Naked palette. I, would, I don't use it, I would literally only use this white one. And I'm gonna have, let me see what this brush is from. I don't even know where this brush is from. But it's like a flat brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna start from the corner and work my way up on top of that lid to blend the colors in with um, almost like with my eyebrow. So now that I applied my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I'm just gonna apply it to my eye. I always start, when I do my eyeliner, I always start in the middle of my eye and then work my way towards the end. Okay, so now that I applied the eyeliner on both sides of my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. A lot of questions I get is where I get my lashes. I get my lashes from a beauty supply where I live. It's called Genesis Beauty Supply. The brand is called Star, I think, Stardale Lash. And the glue I use is this Duo glue. I actually use the black tube as well, but today I just wanted to use this one just to show you guys that it's really, really simple to apply it on. Shout out to my girl Deanna and Iridian for hooking me on. Now when I apply them, I kind of try and start not so much to my inner corner, but to where I started the eyeliner. Just because um, I used to apply it really towards my inner corner and then I noticed like throughout the day it would pop off easily if I applied it more to my inner corner. So once it's on, another trick that I like to do like as it dries, the way I get them to lift is that because I applied them low on my eyeliner, I'm gonna push them up as they have as it's still drying and it's gonna lift it. So you're gonna push your real lash against the false lash that you applied. As you can see, it lifted. Okay, so now that I applied both lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. The foundation I use is from L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Matte. I like it because it's full coverage. 
You can get it at Walmart. And it's not pricey. Oof. Oh shoot. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna apply my foundation. Wait, but when I do it, I always make sure that my sponge is like damp. Because if it's not damp, I noticed um, that when I do apply it, it gets really, really um, like rough and you like, it doesn't come out as smooth. And all I'm doing now is just following the eyeliner line to make it like really, really crisp where I put the eyeliner at. Okay, as you can see, I kind of did a little bit of contour down the middle of my nose, but that I just use a powder. Sometimes I apply it, um, like, um, like one of, like, this color on my cheeks, but I noticed that sometimes I can actually get a contour without using anything, which I'll show you today. So now I'm just going to add concealer under my eyes, um, on my forehead. And to do this, a lot of people ask me how I clean up my eyeliner or the shadow that was like felt. And I just draw that line directly under the eyeliner. So it comes out really, really crisp. Shoot, see, I should put my hair in a bun. And I just take that beauty blender I used with my foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure I blend it nicely right under that eye. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, once I'm done with this side, I'm gonna go to the other eye and I'm gonna also apply it to my forehead. So once I get to the side, I'm gonna go up that eyebrow. So you can see how it has like a nice um, straight line so it looks nice and clean. Looks like I have bags under my eyes. I've been really tired lately. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that I applied my concealer, applied it on my under eyes, I applied it a little bit here, I did some on my forehead, and then I repeated it on the side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my translucent powder, which is gonna go ahead and set that makeup you put on, and I'm gonna apply it to where I applied my concealer. And this translucent powder is from Laura Mercier. I have a lot of good um, experience with this powder. I really, really do like it. However, I have to say my next favorite, or I mean, I feel like they're almost like a tie. I would say the Huda Beauty is, and Sugar Cookie is my favorite. And it smells good. The Huda Beauty ones smell like vanilla, if you guys have not tried them. So now that I'm letting my face bake and your girl's looking like Casper right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this ColourPop Met Color, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't even talk. The ColourPop Cosmetics California Love Palette. I'm gonna take that color I put to the corner of my eye and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply it to my under eye so that it can match. Okay, so now that I applied my under eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Therreal mascara. To be honest with you guys, I don't spend a lot of money on mascara. This is actually a tester because I don't. There's like there's times where I depend. I do want to do my under eyes, and there's times that I also I just I just don't really do it. 
Um, but yeah, this one is called They're Real from Benefits Cosmetics. So I just did my under eyes with that nice brown that I used for the corner. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of this bronzer powder onto the forehead. And This is my blush brush, and I'm going to be using the blush NARS. I really like their blushes because it's a nice um, pink. Okay, so this is something else that I do. So I know if I notice, I don't if I feel like I put too much, I'm going to go ahead and take what I had from my translucent powder and I'm just gonna just blend it in and then just get back into those creases so now that I applied my bronzer my blush I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my nose so there is days where I highlight my nose sometimes I highlight my cheeks sometimes I do both sometimes I do one or the other um, so I just bought this highlighter I ordered it from Ulta and it's tickle from Benefit Cosmetics. It's really pretty. It's like a pink gold color. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this mini brush from e.l.f. once again. And I'm just going to go ahead and start um, applying it down the center of my nose. So now that I went ahead and applied my highlighter. I already started the next step, which was just basically adding this e.l.f. liquid glitter to the inner corner of my eyes. I was decided to add it just to get that nice, um, complete uh, bronzy look. So just go ahead, and it's a it's a nice liquid. My favorite liquid glitters are the Huda Beauty ones by far. They're like the matte and melted type. Okay, so now I'm just outlining my lips. As you can see, I messed up on the top, but that is okay. The only reason why I messed up is because I was too lazy to go to my room to get the sharpener. So I went ahead and outlined my lips. I don't even know where it went. Oh, just kidding. With this Suede NYX pencil in color London. I didn't show it really just because everyone has their own way of outlining their lips. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with this really pretty nude color from Huda Beauty. It's called Staycation. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab it onto my lips. I always like to, like to uh, use my finger as well. Don't worry, I washed my hands <laughs> before I touched my face. But I always like to use my finger to smooth in any parts that I think are there. Um, are chunky or if I don't want it to like crease really I'll use my finger Here is the final product the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any Comments or if any ideas you guys want me to do next that would be great if you guys want me to do something next um, Comment down below and subscribe and I hope you guys all stay safe out there. Love you guys mm -hmm.